One way to level up your videos is by adding B-roll. And in this video, I'll be defining what B-roll is, and then I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and show you how to shoot and edit B-roll so you can add it into your next video. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video where I give three quick tips on how to make it super easy. So let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tsukori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do tech gear reviews, other times we do tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So what is B-roll? Well, before we define what B-roll is, you definitely need to know what A-roll is. And I have it written down here so I don't skip a beat. So here ye, all ye people. A-roll is the main video or primary footage that gives you the audio you are using. So what you're watching right now is in fact the A-roll. I'm talking, uh, you can hear the audio and you can also see the source of which the audio is coming from, which is me. Now B-roll or what some people call brawl is any supplemental video that is considered to be secondary to your primary footage. B-roll could be captured with either a second camera at the same time as shooting your A-roll. It could be title slides, it could be stock footage, or it could be footage taken at a different time from when you shoot your A-roll. B-roll is great for keeping your viewers engaged with your content and B-roll doesn't necessarily ever need an audio source as it's being laid on top of the A-roll's audio. Many times in our videos here at Think Media, when we are reviewing a product or mention a feature or need to demonstrate something, we will put B-roll on top of our A-roll to help communicate what it is we want to show you. So now I actually wanna show you, let's go behind the scenes and I'm gonna show you an example of how to actually achieve B-roll for your next videos. All right, so here we are. I'm outside of the little studio setup, but um, here, this is my script here on the iPad, and I'm going to be uh, hypothetically making a video on the Sony a6600. And uh, in this script, I mention a few things, and it kind of will serve as like my shot list for my B-roll. Uh, I have that uh, this camera has interchangeable lenses. It has an audio jack input for a mic, and it has a flip-up screen. And so I'm gonna shoot the A-roll sequence first, and then we'll shoot the B-roll sequence. Let's do it. So the Sony a6600 is one of the best cameras you can use for creating YouTube videos. And my three favorite features about them definitely have to be that it has interchangeable lenses. Uh, I also love that it has an audio jack input uh, to put a external mic, and I like using this Deity shotgun mic. And then lastly, one of my favorite things is that it has a flip up screen. This makes it a perfect, vit this makes it a perfect camera for shooting YouTube videos with those three features. All right, so I just shot that A-roll sequence. Now let's shoot the B-roll sequence based off of all the things that I said. So there's many ways you can actually shoot B-roll. Uh, in this case, I'll be shooting the B-roll. Sometimes I can actually have myself in the B-roll shot because Kyle is helping me film, but I know a lot of people are single solo creators. And so if you're a solo creator, let me know in the comment section below. So I'm gonna actually shoot this B-roll uh, while I'm controlling the camera. So I'm gonna take the camera, off the tripod over here. And uh, I'm gonna adjust my lighting a little bit differently. And so, um, because it's a different shot, let's get it super right. All right, so I'm gonna go down the list of things that I mentioned in that A-roll sequence. The first of which being that it is a camera with interchangeable lenses. So I'm gonna get a quick B-roll shot of the camera without the lens. So here I am gonna shoot, and then I'm gonna focus onto the lens. All right, so the next shot is showing off that it has an audio input. And you know, typically this would be cool for me to actually have my hands in it, which I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna use manual focus to lock in on the audio jack, and then I'm gonna plug in right into it and it could be a good shot. I've set the focus on the camera that I was capturing the B-roll. I'm gonna close the door to the audio. And so I'm just gonna do the movement. Obviously I want it super clean. And so if I mess up, I'll just do it again, so. Three, two, one, open up the door, plug into the audio import, and you got audio. All right, just to let you in on what I'm thinking about, that was a really close-up shot of the audio jack input, and I really wanna show off the mic on the camera. So I've zoomed out on the lens, I'm just gonna hit record, and then just kinda of show off the mic uh, on the camera itself. That's great. I'll do it one more time. I always like to have, give myself options. Three, two, one, three, two, one. And I love that there's a mic jack input. Oh yeah. 
So the next shot is me showing that it has a flip up screen. So I'm going to demonstrate that. Um, and so I'm just going to hit record on the camera and then I'm just going to flip up the screen. Three, two, one, flip up screen. Do it one more time. Three, two, one, flip up screen. So now we have our B roll for our A roll. Let's hop into our editing software and add this to our footage. All right, so we have Adobe Premiere Pro opened up. I have dragged all my footage into my project and I actually like separating my A roll from my B roll. It just keeps the workspace clean. So here you have my A roll and then I'm gonna back it up and here's the B roll clips that we captured. So uh, one thing I wanna mention is most editing softwares have like the same interface. Uh, and by, by that, I mean like they work in layers. And so as you can see, I have the very first layer, which is my A-roll right here. And then what I put on top of it, it will be the B-roll. And so um, as you can see too, you see the audio um, right underneath the A-roll, but that's why we say putting B-roll on top of A-roll because when we're editing, that's what we're actually doing. And I could see if you're new to creating videos that that could be just like a new concept, but let's find those moments in the A-roll and then add the B-roll. And so let's get it. So the Sony a6600 is one of the best cameras you can use for creating YouTube videos and my three favorite features about them definitely have to be that it has interchangeable lenses. Cool. De definitely have to. De so interchangeable lenses, I'm going to double click the clip and then I'm actually going to find the, the, the moment where, uh, and usually it's like the last take, but I did it a couple times. So I'm focused on the camera and I focus on the lens. So I just marked I for in and O for out, and then I'm just gonna click the drag video only because I don't want the audio from this clip. It's just the B-roll, and if, if I were to just drag the, uh, the B-roll and the audio, I would delete it. So now if I click here. Them definitely have to be that it has interchangeable lenses. Uh, Great. I also love that it has an audio, an audio jack, so I'm gonna open up that audio jack. Find the moment. I'm gonna find right here. The door, plug into the audio import. And then I'm gonna drag it on top. Jack input uh, to put. And then I'm gonna add this clip of the camera rotation. Look at that commentary. So here we go. To, to put a external mic, and I like using this Deity shotgun mic. And then lastly, one of my favorite things is that it has a flip up. Okay, and the flip up screenshot. So now that I have all my B-roll in the project, let's see how it plays out. Videos and my three favorite features about them definitely have to be that it has interchangeable lenses. Uh, I also love that it has an audio jack input uh, to put a external mic and I like using this Deity shotgun mic. And then lastly, one of my favorite things is that it has a flip up screen. This makes it a perfect, this makes it a perfect cam. So I forgot that I actually messed up, but this is a cool thing about B-roll. So I'm actually gonna pick it up from the part where I got it right. I'm gonna slice it. Then I'm gonna find the part right before I messed up. Flip up screen. This makes it a perfect. So I'm gonna cut. And I'm actually gonna, uh, and I'm actually gonna just delete that mess up and then bring in the good take. And now you won't even tell that I actually messed up. That's what's cool about B-roll. It can cover some of your mess ups. You flip up screen. This makes it a perfect camera for shooting YouTube videos with those three features. And that's how you add B-roll to your A-roll. All right, if you haven't already hit the like button, hit that like button if you're getting value in this video. And question for you is, do you use B-roll in your videos? Let me know in the comments section below. But the quick three tips I got for you start with number one, and that is to plan your B-roll ahead of time. Use your script or your talking points to actually think about what it is you want to film in order to demonstrate what it is you're trying to communicate. And so uh, I think it's just really important to think about it ahead of time and what it actually can do, kind of like what I showed you, is it can create a shot list 
so that when you're done shooting your A roll and you're gonna now capture your B roll, you actually have a list to go off from, making it super easy and saving you time. The second tip is to decide whether you want to shoot your B-roll in slow motion or real-time speed. Shooting B-roll in slow motion is a nice little hack because of the amount of footage you get with the amount of time spent shooting, if that makes sense. But let me break it down. If you shoot something in 60 frames per second, but your final video project is 30 frames per second, that gives you a 50% of slow-mo. And essentially that means if I shoot a five second clip, it now becomes a 10 second clip once it's slowed down. And the same goes if you shoot in 120 frames per second, it's four times slow motion. So what was five seconds is now 20 seconds. So that's just something to think about and a cool way to kind of uh, let your B-roll last longer. You know, if something is as quick as, you know, adding a lens to a camera, it could be cooler if you did it in slow motion, not only because it takes up more time, but it also adds a little cinematic vibe to your B-roll. And the third tip is to get creative. You actually don't have to be the source of your own B-roll in your videos. You can use things like stock footage, uh, photography. You can also use title slides. Uh, just know that uh, you don't actually have to be the one using your camera to capture what it is you wanna demonstrate. I see this a lot. And here on Think Media, we actually like using stock footage for things like our promos or our Facebook ads and even sometimes our YouTube videos, we will throw stock footage in there. And one resource we like using is called Storyblocks, and we'll put a link to them in the description box. Uh, but what we like about them is they have great stock footage. You can download footage that's flat and color grade it yourself, or you can download footage that's already graded. Uh, they also have moving titles and things like that, but they have a subscription service that might suit your needs. So make sure you check them out if you wanna see what they have to offer. More than anything, if you've watched the video up to this point, you're an OG, thanks, and I hope you have a better understanding of what B-roll is, and so you can add it in your videos. And uh, if you like this video, uh, I would consider this kind of like a basic video, and we have a playlist for camera basics. So if you wanna learn a lot about like ISO, aperture, shutter speed, and things like that, we have a playlist of camera basics, and you can check that out by tapping on the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.